Ricky Ricardo from Unric Strict. Now onto the video. So let's say each year is a lap. So 365 days you go around. So you go around 365 days, then it comes back around. So that's the equivalent of 400 meters because you go around the track. Now 400 meter runners, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not a 400 meter runner. 400 meter runners. Every single time they go around. It's only 400 meters, but every single time they go around, right? With conviction, they want to beat their last time. And if they took seconds off, that is a big achievement. That is a big deal because every single time that they go around, they're pushing themselves. So in between them running it and running it again there's things that they do in between to make sure that the success of running it the next time will be better will be more efficient more powerful faster so you've made progress i think that's how we need to look at life i feel like a lot of us we want these fast fixes and these fast changes and these you know quick weight loss quick money quick weight gain everything just quick 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 but we're not kind of competing against the same position we was in last year and similar to the runners when they're competing Competing against their last lap, their last attempt. Like, I'm gonna ask you a question. We're in November. It's Sunday, the 18th of November. Now, I don't expect you to know <laughs> how you felt, what you had, what you did, what you achieved. November, the 18th, 2017. I don't expect you to know that. But generally, you should kind of know where you was kind of at last year, November. Kind of what you was thinking. The most of us have things like Instagram and Facebook, right, and all these different social media. So we can kind of scroll back that that, that month. You can kind of gauge how we was feeling based on our posts, based on our facial expression, trigger off like, okay, you know what? I was in mentally bad shape because I wouldn't have posted something like that. So what I'm trying to say is guys is that rather than us challenging ourselves by last week, because you know, life is, it's more of an endurance based race. You got to kind of pace yourself because if you try to run a 400 meters with the same intensity that you ran a hundred meters, <laughs> Yeah, good luck, mate. Apparently, to pace yourself. So rather than say, okay, you know what? Like, you can have little mini goals. You can have little mini goals. I'm not saying not have little mini goals. You know, the small, medium, and large goals. Is that small, medium, and large? What is it? You guys know what I mean. So you can set like goals, okay? But realistically, you should be challenging yourself. You should have those yearly goals, and you should be challenging yourself. Like, okay, where was I this time last year? Or how much did I weigh this time last year? Or what was my financial status this time last year? So you can see how you progress over a year. <laughs> Life is a long distance race. Life really isn't a sprint. If you move at a pace that is not sustainable, you're going to pop a muscle. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're going to hurt yourself. Something's going to be wrong. I dare you, I challenge you to run a 400 meters with the same intensity that you would run a 100 meters. I'll wait because it ain't gonna take long. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll, I'll actually wait right here. It ain't gonna take long. You're gonna be back. You might not be back. You might have to go in the ambulance. You know what I mean? You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be limping back. Guys, what I'm, I'm trying to say is that have a goal, have a plan, trust the process believe in the process enjoy the process and check in with yourself you can have those regular check-ins i'm not saying you can't regularly check in with yourself guys i'm just saying did you beat yourself last year and i'm not saying just check in once a year like i'm not that's not what i'm saying but how do you stand against your november you you know what i mean and if your november you isn't up to par then you got the whole of november to beat your december you when you go into business it's very very hard to say okay january was a good month but february was terrible and then march was decent like because because different things, different seasons, different times, there's different trends, situations that will impact a business making money or not making money. It's very, very similar in life trying to achieve, trying to hit targets, hit goals. It's very, very similar. It's more better to challenge yourself yearly. Like right now, 2018, I kicked this but the things that I'm doing, the things that I've done, my mindset, my physique, everything, right? I've totally killed the 2017 me, totally killed. Like I've never been this focused, this determined, this driven to do what I got to do, you know? Like last year, I was actually at my actual job, <laughs> job my job, I was working way, way, way more harder. I'm doing better with less work, you know? Like right now, I've dominated, I've dominated the 2017 Ricardo. And 2018 ain't gonna stand a chance against the 2019 Ricardo, I promise you. Like, that's already set in stone. Mm -mm, he's finished already. So what I'm trying to say is, guys, is that I'm kicking my ass last year. Do you know what I mean? So, and I find that, to me, that is way, way more rewarding because even though it seems like, oh, it's gone slow, but when I see what I, what I was doing last year, totally different human being. But what I'm saying is, guys, is that that's something that I've just thought of and that motivates me. It might not work for you. You guys might need the little ones, them daily, 
weekly, monthly check-ins. And I do too. I do use them too. But we're not really challenging ourselves based on last year. Did we beat ourselves last year? You know what I mean? So, you know, that is just another way to look at goal setting and stuff like that. Anyway, guys, I'm sounding the video off here now. I hope it didn't sound too confusing or sound like a whole lot of waffle. I, I hope it didn't. I hope it made sense to at least one person. If one person, if you're that one person that it made sense to, leave a comment below, please. And you know what? Leave a comment below if it didn't make sense. You know what I mean? Either way, leave a comment below, guys. Do you know what I mean? I value you guys. I value you guys' opinion, good or bad. If you feel like I'm chatting a whole lot of rubbish, then you know what? Tell me so I can be more mindful of my rubbish. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I can clean up my rubbish. Anyway, guys, I'm signing off the video right now. Like the video now. Share the video now. Leave a comment now. Hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload, guys. Ricky, Ricardo, and I'm out. <laughs>